This assessment asks us to predict a mechanism for the reverse reaction, the hydrolysis of an ester, and how we might know that mechanism is true. We know the mechanism is true because this is an equilibrium reaction, and the principle of microscopic reversibility says that in equilibrium reaction, the reverse reaction is exactly the same as the forward reaction, just backward. Bond for bond, atom for atom, arrow for arrow, it's exactly backward of the forward reaction. So if we start with our ester, water, and sulfuric acid, the first step of this mechanism will be the protonation of water by sulfuric acid to form H3O+. That proton will then get transferred to the carbonyl of the ester in an acid-base reaction. This ester is now nucleophilic, uh, exceptionally nucleophilic, even towards weak nucleophiles like water, so water can attack at this point. That forms a tetrahedral intermediate. The water has now added and has a positive charge. Right now, that water would be the best leaving group. We don't want it to be the best leaving group. We need the uh, ethoxy group to be the best leaving group. So we need to shuffle the proton around in order to make the ethoxy group the best leaving group. So we'll use a little bit more water to take the proton off the group that we want to stay and put it on the group that we want to leave. Now we have H3O plus and then we can transfer that proton to the oxygen of the ethoxy group. And that turns the ethoxy group into a good leaving group so that it can leave. And so it will leave, it has a positive charge right now, and it will leave. It forms a carbocation intermediate, and we'll use a little bit more water to remove this hydrogen, to reform the carbonyl, and form our final product. This forms the carboxylic acid product as a result of the hydrolysis of this ester. This is the mechanism for the hydrolysis of the ester.